Obviously, with the world's biggest sporting competition come some of the world's biggest sporting stories, both on and off the field. The World Cup stretches over a month, though, so before they're forgotten to the drama of the later stages of the tournament, let's revisit some of the biggest storylines of the tournament so far, with the 10 biggest moments of the World Cup group stage. Number 10. Russia convincingly escape their group. Many people had written off the host nation ahead of their opening game against Saudi Arabia, afraid that the tournament may suffer for atmosphere as a result of the last seeded home team's presumed early exit. Those fears weren't really lifted when Russia scored the first goal 12 minutes in, or when one of their best players limped off with a hamstring injury shortly after. But the goals kept going in, and Saudi Arabia barely had a sniff. A worldie from Denis Cheryshev and a delicious free kick from Alexander Golovin had everyone on their feet. They were similarly solid against Egypt, holding Mo Salah to one goal from a penalty, and despite a thumping from Uruguay, the world was excited to see them progress. Number 9. Portugal vs Spain The official kickoff of the World Cup may have come between Russia and Saudi Arabia, but while that game produced plenty of goals, the tournament truly felt like it began the next day, when Spain played Portugal in the headline game of Group B. The game ended in a draw, but a dull one it was not, as Ronaldo scored an early penalty, a second after Diego Costa equalised for Spain, and just when Spain looked like they'd won it through a brilliant volley by Nacho, Ronaldo scored a beautiful free kick two minutes from time to retie the match and complete his hat-trick. The match had added significance as it was Spain's first following their coach's dismissal two days before the tournament, and it reminded everyone of their talent. Number 8. Shock opening results. It's never fair to judge a team entirely on their opening game's performance, but that doesn't mean it wasn't shocking to see some of the score lines across the first round involving some of the biggest teams at the tournament. Germany, Poland, and Colombia all lost their opening games to less fancied teams, and Argentina and Brazil both drew theirs in uninspiring fashion. For some it was foreboding and others a wake-up call, but it was a welcome reminder that in international football, anything can happen. Number 7. Underwhelming Early Exits Given all the hype and expectation surrounding Mo Salah as he arrived at the World Cup off the back of a Ballon d'Or conversation season, Egypt were tipped as second favourites to escape Group A after Uruguay. Salah's shoulder injury sustained in the Champions League final ultimately limited his involvement and the rest of his Egypt teammates hardly picked up the slack. They were eliminated after just two games and lost their third to Saudi Arabia, which was plain embarrassing. More embarrassing still was Poland's exit, also after two games. They were the seeded team of their group with enough recognisable names to make them dark horse contenders for a deep run, but could only find two goals against Colombia, Senegal and Japan despite having Robert Lewandowski up top. What a waste. Number 6. Argentina's Group Comeback After drawing their opening game against Iceland, Argentina had the unenviable task of trying to find form against Croatia, a dark horse team with superbly talented players who'd just convincingly beaten another respectable side, Nigeria. A 3-0 scoreline later, and an abysmal performance from Messi, Argentina had it all to do in their final group game. On the two previous performances, a win looked far from simple, and despite an early lead from a bit of Messi magic, when Nigeria equalised, the uphill climb suddenly looked even steeper. But while Di Maria, Higuain and Sergio Aguero were unable to find a goal, Marcos Rojo, of all people, was with a fantastic side-footed volley to secure their great escape. Number 5. Unexpectedly Dominant Underdogs While many of the obvious favourites struggled to find form early on in the competition, there were a few less expected teams who did make it out of their group, winning all three games. Uruguay didn't concede while collecting nine points, Belgium blitzed Panama 3-0 and Tunisia 5-2 as Romelu Lukaku scored four in two games before they saw out a 1-0 win over England, and Croatia entered the round of 16 having played perhaps the best football at the tournament so far, winning all three of their games including a statement 3-0 deconstruction of Argentina. All three of these underdogs are keeping things interesting as the tournament progresses. Number 4. England score 6 against Panama 
The world at large may not have cared that England spanked one of the worst rated teams at the tournament, but it took the three Lions scoring a record number of goals in a World Cup game through a Harry Kane hat-trick, a John Stones double and a Jesse Lingard golasso, and securing guaranteed qualification in two dominant games against teams they would have struggled against in previous tournaments to make England fans believe that this year may not be so depressing. It also shot Harry Kane to the tournament's top scorer, on fire when they were just getting started. Number 3. VAR Usage We're only just through the first round of matches, and the record for penalties at a World Cup has already been shattered. As of the end of the group stage, 23 penalties have been awarded, five more than the previous record for an entire tournament. VAR has mostly been to thank for the uptick in spot kicks, as the technology has primarily been used to award them when the referee has missed an infringement in the box. But it's also caught some offside issues and allowed for red card reviews. There's a sense it'll have an even more pivotal part to play yet. Number 2. Sweden top their group Drawn in a group with Germany and Mexico, few dared to hope Sweden's remarkable World Cup run post Zlatan would go much further than the opening rounds. But after dispatching the Netherlands and Italy on their way to qualification, Sweden once again defied the odds to oust the Germans and escape the group with Mexico. They were beaten by a last-minute Tony Cruz free kick against Germany, but they beat South Korea and then Mexico 3-0 to prove their Scandi design ceiling is still truly unknown. Number 1. Germany eliminated in the group stage It didn't matter that everybody knew four of the last five World Cup winners had exited in the group stage the next time around. Germany were different, everybody thought. They were too precise, too consistent, too stacked with prime talent to wobble so badly. Even when they lost in humiliating fashion to a glittering Mexico side, people weren't panicking. When they squeezed out a last-minute winner against Sweden, the Mannschaft seemed back on course for its record-equaling fifth World Cup. But needing a win against practically eliminated South Korea, they couldn't get out of third gear, and with all the possession, failed to find a goal before South Korea scored twice in extra time to put the final nail in the dreary German title defence. Sweden topping its group is almost unthinkable at the start of the tournament, but Germany coming in last would have been truly unbelievable. Is it the biggest storyline of the group stage, though? What do you think? Let us know what's most surprised you so far in the comments below, and give us your round of 16 predictions. Tell us what other videos you'd like to see while you're down there, and don't forget to give this one a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our World Cup content. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Lloyd Mallison, and I'll see you in the second round.